Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here, and today we're going to talk about how to assess pelvic tightness. Um, so th this is kind of a puzzle because mm, your pelvic floor can be tight and still very, very weak. And then it's very hard to assess, like, do I have a tight pelvic floor? Do I not have a tight pelvic floor? What's going on? Um, so, you know, I would recommend that if you're having problems with your pelvic floor, like some, some indicators of a tight pelvic floor are that, you know, when you're inserting your menstrual cup or your tampon or you're having sex, that you have a lot of pain with those things. So if that is happening for you, then it's really, really essential that um, you contact a professional, uh, OT or a PT, that specializes in internal pelvic floor work. And then that person can really help you in uh, finding the specifics of what needs to happen in your pelvis, right? And they can give you tools and techniques and different instruments where you're able to do that internal release work to a certain extent on your own at home, which is awesome. But in our environment, in the movement environment, um, there are a couple of things that we can do. All right, so so here's the pelvis and the pelvic floor. And we're going to be monitoring or assessing this central tendon that is at the bottom of the vaginal opening and in front of the anus. This is the central tendon of the pelvic floor. This could be where maybe you had an episiotomy or you tore uh, when you were in labor and birth. And when you take an inhale and you're palpating this area, you should feel this area bulge into your finger. If it doesn't, then that's a good indicator that you do have a tight pelvic floor. Yep. So, you know, let's, let's all kind of try that. And if you have, like I do, if you have thin yoga pants or underwear, you can feel it. Um, but, you know, if you're in the privacy of your own home, you could do this stripped down. So you want to find that central tendon. And usually you're going to use your middle finger, right? You're going to find that central tendon and you're going to take an inhale and then an exhale. And on the inhale, you want to feel that area bulge into your finger. And on your exhale, you want to just feel a reflexive drawing away from that tissue because we really want the pelvic floor to be responsive. We want to have that give and take of our pelvic floor. Um, if our pelvic floor stays in one direction, that is not functional, right? We want that really nice functional movement. So, you know, what happens? Okay, so yeah, my pelvic floor is tight. I have pain when I put in a tampon. It's not bulging into my finger when I take an inhale. What can I do? So the first thing and the simplest thing that you can do is concentrate on your inhales, right? So really sending the breath down. Part of that, you know, it's more complicated. Part of that is getting your ribs to move, mobilizing your rib cage, so your diaphragm has that freedom to have that optimal glide down. But concentrating on the inhale, sending your breath down, making sure that the breath is not just shoving your body forward, but that you're really getting that full diameter of your rib cage and your torso and that, uh, that myofascial circle and all sides of your pelvis to inflate. And so, you know, w one problem that we see is a really closed off back body. So all of this tissue in our back body gets really tight. And so the diaphragm is used to not expanding 
and um, really opening up in the back. It just kind of shoves forward. So we want to really concentrate on getting the back of our body open, getting the back of our ribs open, feeling our lateral abdominals really eccentrically lengthening. Um, and so with that, we're going to start to all of that, you know, and that takes practice. That takes a while. But when you start to get that, then that is really going to start to talk to your pelvic floor. And from the inside, like you have an inside massage therapist with your breath, that's going to slowly start to cue your pelvic floor into more length and into more responsiveness. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time, and never stop learning.